Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Madrid versus Getafe. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And so the battle commences. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's certainly on fire at the moment. He looks fit, he looks sharp. Oh, and... Stuart, they must score! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Who can they pick out? No keeper will mind that sort of corner. Mikel. Now potential danger. Tremendous reflexes. Thibaut Courtois. comes but he didn't miss by all that much with the header just a little bit off target Teo Hernandez Vinicius Junior. Real chance! And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Fedor Chalov. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And Chanov now. Chance to finish. Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd. Well, let's take another look, and there's the deflection. And from that moment on, the keeper had no chance, did he? Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. He must finish! Oh, that is a majestic goal! Falling home with precision and style, superbly done! Well, as you can 
can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Fedor Chalov. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. surprised to see him go for goal but a routine save in the end wonderfully weighted pass and a strong tackle Alfredo Morelos how about the cross? He's showing a real will to win the ball. Rodrigo. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. And can they make one of these passes count? Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity, certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. The ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Delivering it. And the danger clear. And space to exploit, maybe. Opportunity. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, no damage done. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Second half underway, with Real looking to build upon a positive first half showing. Silva. Boscalli in possession. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Crossing possibilities. Well, they couldn't keep it. Well, more live La Liga action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Hetafe against Atletico. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. Well, 
those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball. But their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Options in the middle. And a struggle to get it away properly. Is it going to be? Great defending here. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Substitution for Real Madrid. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Corner kick played in. Well cleared away. Uzcan must score. Oh, good work by the keeper. Over it comes. Well, no problems defensively. Strength and control, a big part of his game. But strong play here on the shielding front. Oh, great defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, breezing past him. Great opportunity. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Substitution for Real Madrid. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Using a strength to shield the ball. Run it magnificently and intercepted. Space on the flank. In position here to protect the ball. Well timed tackle. And Blanco on the ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, surely can they keep it going? And danger still. But no, it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up. Uzchan. Lokonga. And Chalov now. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Might be able to set up the chance. And delivered into the box. In it goes! Such a complete performance! Four in front now!
let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to as Real Madrid try to confirm their place in the knockout phase. It's Real Madrid facing Porto. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a good game because Real have played some great football so far. More of the same today, and they will be going through to the knockout stages. dissect the Real Madrid side. Well, we talk about this false number nine position, but really he's just an attacking midfield player. The penetration comes from the wide players who make runs from outside to in. Done well, it can be devastating. the starting 11 for Porto. Rob Holding plays alongside Pepe in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset.
And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Well, that is how to run at defenders. That's excellent defending. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Oh, good strike! Oh, my goodness, what a strike! From so far out, absolutely sensational! Unstoppable! Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. So underway again with Real Madrid in front. Pepe. Berge. Porta with it. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. This could square the game. But the keeper has a say, and how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. And now the delivery. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Luis Diaz. This looks threatening. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Can they get in behind them? Effective challenge. Teo Hernandez. Vinicius Junior. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Off the post and back in play. Just the clearance that was needed. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Berge. The ball with Pepe. Bruno Costa. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, it all counts for naught. And there it is, the half-time whistle, and the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in the knockout stages today. Well, it's job half done so far, Derek. Now they need to see out the next 45 minutes. Keep playing well. Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Ricardo Orta. Here 
is with Vinicius Junior. Perfectly positioned to take it away. This looks interesting. Can he finish? A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Can he put it away? And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. And time for the change now. Mehdi Tarami. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So on with the action, and 3-1 on the scoreline at the moment. Well, there you have it. Porto have had so much of the ball, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. And they could run onto it here. Teammate available. And how about that for a save? And time for the change now. And he's fired over the corner. And did his job defensively. Rodrigo. Really inventive stuff from Real here. And the cross goes in. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Oh, he's gone for goal. Oh, a goal! It's gone in! The goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again. Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. So the game continues, and that goal puts a different complexion on the match for Real. 
And unable to keep possession. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Given away by Real Madrid. Luis Diaz. Ricardo Orta. Is this the moment? Oh, surely. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Current scoreline, 4-2. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing! Just can't stop him today! Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And then just look at the finish, Derek just entices the keeper in and it's a lovely little dink to deceive him fantastic goal and superb finish Extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Well, not long to go now, and Real Madrid must do everything in their power to produce an equaliser. Well, surely they get one more chance before the end here. Forget the defending, they've played some great attacking football, and I think that. And fails to keep himself onside, unfortunately. And Blanco. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, you've really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Costa holding Orta with it he's protecting it well in position here to protect the ball on the attack is there to be late excitement could be threatening well fine hold up play here it's still there for him oh can you believe it with so little time left surely that will be the winner amazing scenes here well let's look at the replay they move the ball so well just waiting for an opening but i think the keeper has made a mistake here while it's a decent finish it shouldn't go in at that near post
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Federico Valverde. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Vinicius Jr. And Blanco. He takes aim. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here, and they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. The cameras are fixed to one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? Hello and welcome to Seville. Welcome to the Estadio Benito Villamarín. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Betis taking on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game.
And the contest begins. Room to Rome for the Merengues here. There it is, and just the ideal start. And they're playing once more. Real Madrid with the lead here. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Rodrigo. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, high and more than a bit hopeful. And the pass could do damage. And he succeeds in striping it off the line. Honora. Grifo. Well, they've given him too much space. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Now, can they create something? He's in position. Oh, a finish of real class. No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. Second goal for them here. No danger here as he runs at them. Teammates in the middle. And nobody applying pressure. Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Ryan Grafenberg. Here's Valverde. Oh, he's gone for goal! And a fine stop. And over it comes. 
Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Now sending it in. The first half here comes to an end. And off and running again after a dizzying first half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. The concession of a corner here. Played over. He got a good palm on it. Valverde could be a chance to break here he'll take this on off the post and back in play Rodrigo Goretzka and still an opportunity and thumped away Well, this is the home of live football and excited to have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Real Betis against Atletico. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Promising position, this. And turned onto the woodwork. Can they keep it out? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, you won't see too many better saves than that. Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. Real chance. And not cleared away properly. Leon Goretzka. Now a decent position. Electing to cross into the centre. A special moment for him. for Real Madrid. Well, as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. 30 minutes to go then. And successfully cut out. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Bartra. Cutting the ball back. Terrific block. Well, great read there to intercept. Valverde. Rodrigo. Aiden Azar. And a long way out here. Couldn't quite hang on. And that's a corner. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench.
Who can he pick out? And the danger's still on. Well, threat averted. Is it going to be? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And there's the delivery. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Well, they know they need to stop him. And now, passing it through. Splendid defending. Oh, what an opportunity. Is it going to be? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. to go there he's protecting it well and that is that the end of the game it goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid what did you think of their overall performance you're absolutely right Derek their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace and the midfield completely dominated the game it was a great all-round performance